Are you tired of the millions of fittings and hoses you just have to buy to check your fuel pressure? Worried about the massive explosion you'll cause using the Sawzall to check your fuel pressure like you did last time? Introducing the Diagnostic Inspection Calibrated Pressure Unit Mechanics Pal, or Dick Pump. But don't take our word for it. What is this product? What does it do? Wow, she loves it. Dick Pump is how the pros pump dick. Small enough to fit in your pocket, but large enough to fill your heart. Call 1-800-NEED-2-DP. Again, that's 1-800-NEED-2-DP. Product causes cancer in California, but only in California, so the rest of you are probably good. Limit 12 gauges per household. Any more than that, you clearly have a problem. Do not insert rectally unless that's what you think you need to do. You're probably here because you've been researching easy, simple, cheap ways to check your fuel pressure. Or you're confused, disoriented, probably not wearing pants, but neither am I. So let's explore those options. This is a 2022 Performance Fuel Systems Inc. pressure tester, and I want to show you all of its quirks and features. We're messing with this thing today on an OBS 1995 Ford F-150. Anybody that's been around the block with this sad experience knows that those things with a dual fuel tank that's twice the amount of problems you can have with fuel pressure. While we have a regular testing set with all the fittings and gauges and hoses, but what makes this little fuel pressure setup special? This little black guy right here. Inside the pressure sensor adapter fitting, it's got a little finger doodad, kind of like an Audi belly button. That little finger stick is used to depress the Schrader valve on your factory fuel rail. It works just like a normal one on a tire, so it lets you add more pressure to it, take pressure away, or just thread in a tester. To install this little guy, all you gotta do is take off your factory fuel rail dust cap, then go ahead and get your eye holes in there and make sure there's no dirt and debris. If there is, just blast it out with some brake cleaner or compressed air. As you're screwing it on, fuel may weep past the threads until the O-ring seals. I'm gonna turn the ignition on and off to build back up the fuel pressure. That's all there is to it. <laughs> like, like that's it, that, there's nothing else to it. And since it's got an O-ring buried in there, you don't gotta use any kind of sealant or Teflon tape on the rail fitting but I do recommend some sort of sealant on the gauge to 90 and the 92 of the adapter. While it might seem weird that there's actually three separate pieces here, having these extra fitting actually works really well to clock the gauge so it's easy to read. It's working extremely fergalicious, which I believe means it's working good, but it is accurately measuring the rear fuel pump pressure. Spec for a 5.0 engine is about 30 to 45 PSI and about a five PSI increase when you disconnect the vacuum from the fuel pressure regulator. Unfortunately, the front pump doesn't seem to be doing very sexy, but uh, that might have something to do with the lack of a certain tank shame thing area I found when I dumped a whole bunch of gasoline all over. Well, you know what? I haven't even had a front tank. One of the reasons I'm partial to this little guy is because of how convenient it is. I can throw this in the glove box. We think there's an issue, and there's, uh, there's going to be issues because it's a Ford. This also allows me to swap it between our fleet of garbage vehicles I got parked out in our field of dreams, like our 69 VW Beetle with an LS swap. Well, that might actually be where dreams go to die, but if you want to see more of that garbage charge goodness, do that thing you know I like. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know I like that. Another option though is if you didn't want to use one of these little adapter fittings, you could just use a metric rail fitting to eighth inch NPT and then just slam it in there and gut your Schrader valve. The Schrader valves come out with a little Schrader valve removal tool and be done with it. Or if you've got some aftermarket garbage in your life, be sure to check out our video of our 1963 Riviera LS swap that had a little bit of a fuel regulator issue. And we diagnosed it by installing an inline 6AN fuel pressure fitting with an eighth inch NPT port. Front fuel pump, not doing so hot. Not, not very good at all, actually. Rear fuel pump, 35, still kicking it. That's all I asked for, bare minimum. But what are the four things that we learned about fuel pressure today? Well, this fuel pressure gauge setup is cheap, simple, $29.99, probably-ish. And I have an addiction to, well, the old things that hurt me emotionally. I am not gonna cry myself asleep over it. Again, not after what happened last time. Focus, focus, focus. Hey, the face looks better out of focus. Defocus, 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 defocus. Perfect. This is a fuel pressure tent. This is a fuel pressure tent. God damn it. This is a fuel pressure tester. Shut the up, bird. <laughs>